dear seekers, again we are here to ponder on the principle of life. It is our difficulty to love. Difficulty to love. How we can understand our own problems and difficulties of loving each other? We human beings are having all the natural drives like any other beings. Where there is life, there is emotion. It is the emotion that has brought us together and formed the society. It is emotion that differentiates us from other organisms. The best example of human emotion is the mother carrying and feeding her baby. Emotion is the fundamental element of all human and social values. Desire, anger, sympathy, love, hate and friendliness are all the outbursts of powerful emotions. We, the human persons, are the most dominant, wise, and powerful creature of, all the, uh, creature of the universe. The man without emotions is a stone, a lifeless object, and everyone knows that lifeless object cannot make the world to go a gate. Life is impossible without emotions. By nature, we are affected by the love of others. From our childhood to our maturity, it affects us in mind and body. We feel that we are irresistibly attracted by the others. It may be a person or a living being or any other material object. If that affection continues, we may feel a longing to be together with passion and excitement. We may feel that we have found the most special, unique person in the world. If all goes well, affection will be replaced by a warm, comforting, nurturing type of feeling. We feel connected in body, mind and spirit. Each stage of love is a cycle which affects our body, mind and spirit. In the physical level, our brain chemistry is affected. The neurotransmitters are revived up and the hormones carry the feeling throughout the body. In the mental and psychological level, we are moved by our likes and dislikes based on our behavior, attitude and value system. At the same time, from the time of conception and birth, we are affected by various negative experiences and they are formed in our system and it is the cause for all our negative behaviors, feelings and attitudes. When we grow, it is reflected in our life as self-centeredness. In its expression, it takes other negative attitudes like selfishness, ego, greediness, harshness, covetousness, fear, anxiety, possessiveness, 
and hatred to all that are not supporting our self gratifications based on these negative aspects we give priority to our own self and selfish needs avoiding the needs and the well-being of others we should not be confused with attachment and love attachment is connected with fear and dependency and has more to do with love of self than love of other we have biological psychological social and even spiritual responses and interactions with the people we come into contact with our subconscious minds have been programmed to want that kind of love that kind of dedication that kind of commitment the kind is the attachment which is conditioned by the experiences of our past life but to be more accurate all the lustful attachments are emotionally and psychologically unsure and wave like in their attachment orientations we all develop attachment patterns from childhood relationships with our parents caregivers friends teachers etc and they are ever evolving throughout our teen age and adult years as we grow in our love relationships wave like tendencies in regard to attachment are typically characterized by fear and anxiety to ambivalent states of daily life we have to understand our own attachments with the self worldly things and persons the nature of our attachment is based on our selfish plans and systems although it does not cost anything to be kind to others the idea of putting others first without any expectation of reciprocity has been quite a foreign notion in a world where selfishness and greed are constantly rewarded somehow we have been led to believe we must be ruthless to gain instincts to fight against one another for resources and to accumulate power and possessions our individualistic and competitive society may say that if we are sympathetic to one another it is usually because we have our own hidden motives if we are decent honest and polite to each other it indicates that we have succeeded in controlling and overcoming our biological instinct of brutality and selfishness let us not waste time arguing what a good man should be what a good man should be but let us be one let us be one that is we should be a compassionate human person you should be noted that our intimate instinct is to be selfless and that people are willing to make sacrifices for the common good in this condition we have been conditioned on several levels 
to seek selfish gratifications. It is not a tendency we can break overnight. We have to be aware of it. This awareness may not stop us from feeling these intense, selfish, emotional drives, but it will empower us to make healthier choices about the persons who relate in our life. In this awareness, we have to rewrite the stories that we have told about ourselves, about what love is and what love is not that we have held us back from having the type of relationship we really want. It takes time to reprogram the real love from a balanced situation of awareness. When we are in the presence of someone, we have to notice that we feel inner peace, joy, authenticity, and acceptance. These are the sentiments and the emotions felt when we are rooted in awareness and balance. Anxiety, fear, and anxious need to be with someone and feeling to be something or someone that we are not or the biggest indications that we are not rooted in the balanced attitude. There are plenty of ways to love and they are good and valid, but they mean different things in different circumstances. For example, one act of love differs in how our love is perceived by other people. Is it coming from a pure and selfless place or from a needy and selfish one? Because of that, most of us are selfish in our love. What is that selfish love? Selfish love refuses to give and to share. When love is selfish, it holds us back where it should be given freely. Selfish love does not feel safe because it is conditional. So it does not sustain the love in the way that real love is supposed to do. Selfish love is based on fear and anxiety. When we love selfishly, we are doing it to fill the emptiness which is caused by fear. Fear diminishes love and it blocks the growth of pure love. Selfish love is stagnant. Selfish love creates complicated relationships that can get stuck in one place based on power, money and selfish well-being because it is not based on right reasons. Here, there is no way to grow because it is all about selfishness. Not, ab not about building relationship. Selfish love is inadequate. When we love selfishly, we close ourselves in an effort to protect it from our own, for our own benefit. It is stingy and self-centered and it is only enough to fill our own basic and personal needs and neediness. 
selfish love is a cycle of feeling our selfishness. When we love selfishly, others are not really receptive of our love. It is just feeding into the cycle of feeling needy and to have more. It is a vicious cycle and a totally unnecessary one. Since we are accustomed to maintain the selfish attitude, moved by our social, financial, material needs, we have no vital energy to go beyond it and continue to be individuals of arrogance and brutality, fighting and killing each other without any awareness of social well-being and personal maturity. It is not love at all. It is mere fulfilling our own emotional and survival needs. It is the immature and childish attitude making use of all worldly and human resources in an unjust manner. In the contrary, we have developed a selfless love. Selfless love. Loving our insignificant other friends and family is easy since they usually respond in the same manner. Therefore, when we give our love, we get something in return. It is an ideal situation. However, selfish love is the more powerful Yet, it is a mysterious sensation. It usually reveals itself when we do things out of the kindness of our hearts, not requiring or even expecting anything in return. The power of unconditional selfless love lies in the fact that it is not motivated by a reward or a benefit. If we aim to make the world a slightly better place, there are many things we can do. Selfless love is expressed in the form of kindness and compassion. Selfless love, selfless love is a gift. It is given to us as a gift and will be received as one so there is no stress or drama in the exchange. When people take free love, they are just more likely to give it back naturally. Selfless love accepts the limitations. When we love selflessly, we accept the other's flaws and shortcomings. It is the more reality. Self selfless love accepts the ups and downs that are part of life journey. The limitations and the low nature of others are overlooked when there is real love. Selfless love comes from the inner chamber of abundance. When we love selflessly, we do not worry about the outcome of it. We may not think that we are giving more than the other person. Instead, the act of loving feels good and it is obvious that whatever is given comes back to us in the right quantity. 
selfless love never ends. Love that is given selflessly does not have an end time. Whether people are in our lives or not, it is eternal and divine. It just exits because it feels good to us. Even if a relationship ends, it does not mean that we cut off our supply of love. Selfless love is creative. Selfless love provides room for people to grow because it is not trying to bind anyone down. That loving freedom makes for greater things, more open lives, the more rooms to accept and give love in return. Selfless love is unlimited. In our selfless love, we come to know that there is enough love in the world for everyone and every being. And that the, the way to get more love is to give more. It is always more and more. It enters into a special spiral movement leading to everlasting progress in love. Selfless love creates an instant connection, whether brief or eternal. It makes people feel like that their existence is love. Even the smallest act of kindness can have far-reaching consequences. Being kind to others often also teaches us to be kind to ourselves because love, when freely given to others, very often finds its way back to us. Love is beautiful in itself. Being with someone our love is even more beautiful. However, love is not always a bed of roses. It takes commitment, a lot of sacrifices, and even tears to make it work. We can see the best and the worst in the other person with the meekness and equality of heart. Selflessness takes great responsibilities and it leads to amazing and long-lasting relationship. It is not hard to do if we truly love the person because it simply means loving unconditionally. Now, let us ponder on some values to deepen the selflessness in our relationship. Of course, they are not absolute, but these attitudes might make a big difference in our relationship, in our daily life. First of all, we should have a proper outlook. Love is expressed basing on our state of mind. If we are having a true love, we may not think about ourselves, but we concentrate on the welfare of the other. We have to consider the wants and the needs of the other person. We have to be willing to do selfless acts and we have to understand the value of being selfless. In love, we learn how to give and take. Love is not one-sided and inflexible. Love is always flexible. Giving 
and taking is its nature. It is a willingness to make compromise in different situations of our life. It is accepting our differences and the difference of others and making the relationship work despite those differences and difficulties. Love learns to appreciate others. We have to appreciate the natural qualities and the values of other persons. At the same time, each person is limited in various ways. No one is perfect. When we appreciate the goodness of the other person, we are also interested to overcome the limitations of the other person. Let us take interest in doing the things that others enjoy the most. We will end up loving each other even more and more. In love, we learn how to forgive each other. Being in a relationship it does not mean that everything is right. By the very nature, real love hurts the other person in many ways. All the more, we have to give a chance to others to hurt us. At some point, our friends may commit mistakes. We may see their limitations and flaws, but loving selflessly means loving the other person with these flaws, accepting them as they are. There we may not see their limitations and flaws, but loving selflessly means loving the other person with these flaws, accepting them wholeheartedly. It is learning to forgive the shortcomings and the limitations of others and our own limitations. In love, we listen to each other. Let us keep hearing and listening the sentiments of others. When we fail to listen, that is where all problems start growing. Let us be a good listener to our beloved and loved ones, relatives, even to the nature, to other persons, and even to the divine reality. Listen to others' expressions and feelings. Our listening is the pressing need of others to overcome their frustrations and to widen the relationship. In love, we meditate. Prayers and meditation can make a difference in our loving relationship. A genuine meditation is the strength in prayer, we are moved to pray for the welfare of others. It is a unifying force of our relationship. Divine help is a personal support to face the hard and heavy situations in the loving journey of loving each other and to create a better social cosmic reality. Becoming a selfless lover seems to take a lot of courage, patience, and understanding. It is a process, but it will come naturally to us if we genuinely love the other persons in our social and cosmic circle. So, loving others is so easy 
when we are moved with the current waves of selfless love which are human and divine let us allow ourselves to it and it will lead us to the further show of unconditional love for all beings there are there we are immersed and surrounded by the ocean of love it is living in justice love and peace therefore friends to love others is so easy when we are have the inner attitude to come out of our own selfishness and to relate with others with love the selfless love the unconditional love and divine love let us try o supreme graceful light justice love and peace be be with you all o loving kindness we always be with us be well be well be well thank you